The reason I wanted to do the video on here is because as Asian Marine, we also represent Fraser Yachts. So Fraser Yachts is a super yacht broker, the biggest super yacht broker in the world. And that's for boats that are over 24 meters. So this yacht is for sale with one of my colleagues um, in Monaco. Mm -hmm. It's basically a brand new boat. So you have three decks, amazing space. And out of all of the boats of this size, for me, this is just designed perfectly for Asia. So we'll do a quick, very impromptu walk around video and hopefully you can discover it as well. So we just did a very quick video upstairs on the sun deck, but this for me really identifies why I think this boat is so good for use in Asia. Of course, our head office is in Hong Kong, I've got Hong Kong in mind. So we're now on the second deck of the boat, but it feels like a traditional main deck, yeah. if you know what I mean. So you have this really nice El fresco outdoor space, fully covered. And then you have the sunshade behind as well. Um, a really nice full sit down bar. I love these features, the way they've managed to get as much natural light into the boat as possible. And then, of course, if you're doing one of these from you, you could have this as an informal diet. Uh, relaxing lounge area, but in this setup, it's a formal dining area. Downstairs, there's a massive lounge which we'll look at briefly. So just imagine now, Jacqueline, being in Repulse Bay, yeah. entertaining your guests. Also, one of the things that surprised you was the kitchen is actually here. The galley is right here. The yeah, right behind the dining table, which I think is a really great idea. So you get it off the main deck, uh, and then you still have all this space here. Full open windows, during the shoulder seasons when it's not too humid in Hong Kong, you could just have the whole boat open, air conditioning off, and have a lovely afternoon at the ocean. Wow, amazing galley. So this galley is actually fully equipped. So imagine having your guests on board, and you know, this gal the galley is hidden here, so you can have your chef prepare the dinner and get everything ready, so that then your guests will be surprised to have a nice dinner up here. So your guests are downstairs in the main saloon and then you bring them upstairs and then reveal yeah. this banquet. Yeah, it would be amazing. I can picture it in Repulse Bay now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Kane on the East uh, Extra. Um, three decks, we've just been on the top deck and now the, uh, the bridge deck and now this is the main deck as I mentioned. So no dining table here because the dining table is up. The cockpit I absolutely love. So you have this huge U-shaped seating facing aft. I can just imagine the whole family out there swimming and enjoying the ocean. And then of an evening or when it's of course baking hot in, uh, in the summer months in Asia, having this massive saloon that you wouldn't normally expect on a boat of this size. Just look at the beam and check out the headline as well. It's really, really impressive. The use of materials I particularly like. It really feels like home in here. So you have matte gloss ceilings, dark wooden floors. Um, the craftsmanship, I have to say, is, is really impressive. Uh, Palumbo have recently delivered an 80 meter steel aluminium super yacht built in a shipyard just down the road from where they construct these. So within the business, they have uh, massive experience in building mega yachts. You have a day head in here, and then we're gonna step forward into the enormous and then what can I say? I'm a bit lost for words really. This master cabin is is huge. Again, I'm six foot, so a lot of headroom. These beautiful, expansive windows. Uh, television hidden away in here very nicely. And then a really nice ensuite bathroom. So you have the toilet and uh, bidet in there. And then over here, a really enormous shower. Um, yeah, I could easily see a client spending three, four, five, six nights, no problem on board at all. Uh, and extensively cruising as well. This boat actually has a really long range for the size of the yacht. So from Hong Kong, you could easily cruise to the Philippines and enjoy the boat in there, in that region. Or if you were based in Thailand or Singapore, you've got so many lovely cruising grounds around there. Uh, it's a very exciting boat. And uh, in my opinion, will be ideal for use in Asia. Let's move on, plenty to look at during the show. Okay, so now we're downstairs on the lower deck where there are four guest cabins. Behind me here, there's two doubles and aft there's two twins. Let's go and have a look. So now we're in the port side guest cabin. 
uh, one of the VIPs, which is the same size as the one on the starboard side. These cabins have a little hidden trick. So remember this boat's only 96 feet, but they've used clever designs like hiding the wardrobe behind the TV and integrating the storage space to really use the maximum floor plan available. And then uh, behind here is where the bathroom is, also which separates from the engine room as well. So you're further away uh, from, of course, the engine and generators when you're, um, when you're in bed asleep. The lower cabins are really impressive. Okay, so now we're on the uh, port side again, VIP double cabin. And uh, yeah, really good space for um, even adults sleeping in these beds, no problem at all. And I really like the, the floor space in here. The bathrooms as well, really lovely. So you have a toilet and a bidet. Of course, the bidet is optional. Not everybody likes them these days. And then a very large walk-in shower. Personally, I really like the use of materials here with the light cream lacquer and the, the gray stone. And I love this design strip that runs throughout the cabins. It makes them feel even more larger than they are. So one feature we forgot from our first cut of the video, we didn't actually know it was there if we're being honest, was very nicely hidden under here, is two teppanyaki grills from Bile, and then a sink here, and additional storage underneath. So there's actually a fridge under there, and then storage under here. It's really nicely and neatly executed. The fact that we actually didn't know it was there, I think is a, is a huge compliment to the shipyard. So, it's Adam and Jacqueline signing off from Can Yacht Show 2022. We hope you enjoyed our video tours. There's been some amazing products here. It's been great to learn about the boat, all the latest features, and of course, in this day and age, new technologies.